Hey, y'all, what's up going on? What's going on? Listen, we about to go live. Y'all was waiting on us, right? Excuse my face. I'm doing a little chemical peel or whatever. I'm trying to hide it, but um, I'm back in my closet. We got it going on. We're going to answer y'all questions. Listen, I'm sorry yesterday. I kind of fooled y'all. I did a bait and switch a little bit. I forgot that they um booked me to do some things for Dr. Heavenly University at night. Hopefully y'all tuned in because it was actually really, really good. Um. Myself, Stormy, and some other girls, um, some other bad ladies uh, are talking about Dr. Heavenly University and our new event, the Fem Fest. So if y'all have not already um, uh, registered, the FemFest.com is T-H-E-FemFest.com. We got some powerful stuff going on. Smiles by Dr. Heavenly. Carlos will be here in a minute. I stay ready. What's going on? What's going on? Y'all got any questions for me? We're reviewing episode 13 this is the last episode before the finale and then we're getting into the reunion so uh this is episode 13 y'all rate the episode i thought it was another good episode um i don't know i'm kind of biased i think when you for me i feel like when you showcase dr heavenly that's when the good episodes are but then they are drama filled they are you know what i mean a lot of a lot of stuff going on but when you don't and you leave it to other people to do it, it's really not getting done the way that it needs to get done. We need some drama. We need some uh, some uh, emotional factors. The funny, fun, funny. We need that. And um, I think it was a good episode, though. I give it an eight, if you will. I think it's a good episode. But God is good. We're going to get into it when Carlos get in here. But um, we're going to praise the Lord. The episode was good. Okay. Okay. The episode was good. All right, let's see. It was a good episode. No drama, just fun and laughter. Okay, y'all like that. Okay. You gonna give it a nine, Toy? Tay? Tay gave it a nine. Matthew, why was Toya hell-bent on grilling Kima and Alicia's marriage? The last thing she needs to be questioning another marriage. I think that when you're doing a reality TV show like you do, I'm gonna bring Carlos in. He here. Let me go and bring him in. Add him to the stage. Hey, Carlos. Hey, girls. Been a while. Going on, baby. You know, busy as ever, but not as busy as you. How you been? You look good, baby. You look real good. Thank you. You know, I try to always look good for the doctor. Yes. Yes, you look good. You got beautiful teeth. I tell you that. You got that smile, baby. You got that heavenly smile. <laughs> oh, heavenly help me, baby. Yes. I know. That's right. Let's get into it. Okay. Set episode 13. Yes. Anything else you, anything you want to say before we start? Um, oh, well, let me look, how, things up. Now, Carlos, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I know it's not true. So I'm going to put it out there. You ain't striking nobody channels. Is you? They keep emailing me and texting me uh -huh. for channels. So clean that up. Tell the people you ain't striking nobody mm -hmm. channels. People put stuff out there and they believe it. Well, it that, well, exactly. Because listen, you know how this industry works. They want to believe the worst about you because they, they want to say like, oh, we got something on him. I do not strike content creators content it wouldn't that, make sense because it builds you up right i just sit up here and said to you guys in nauseam that content creators and bloggers are the reason why our shows are successful my raindrops know that at the end of the day there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me now what i will say is i did a live podcast with melody D Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers. Yeah, well, her, her, right, that's her. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I recorded it because I'm going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people want a few people uploaded my paid for podcast on their channels. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't before you even I, dropped it. Before I dropped it. When I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesday, everyone takes it. Everyone takes, and I don't, I don't care. That helps me promote it. So what happened was we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview and I am going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. How can they so, get your podcast? How could they have gotten the whole thing? Before because you people, it? instead of enjoying the show, people were doing this the whole, the whole two hours. Oh, I see. I see. They did the whole two hours and they uploaded it and... That is what the issue was. But again, doesn't that make sense? You can't you can't record Marital Medicine and upload on YouTube channel and not expect the NBC Universal to strike it and say, yeah. guys, if you want to talk about the show, do that. So that's all it was. But of course, someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's he's striking 
black people who are blogging. He, he's, he's, he's striking people who talk about him. If I would have striked everybody who talks about me, I wouldn't have a job. There you have it. There All y'all do is talk about me. And, I'm, and, and let's be clear, I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but, but there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person. And, and that's not the case. And I know you're not. And the, the, the next, next thing is, and I don't even know why this is a thing. They say that you recruited me for Marceau's event, uh, the Black Expo. And they keep calling it Expo. I don't know why they call it Expo, but it's a Black Business Expo, right? Amazon yes. has backed that event. That's why I'm in it. Because Amazon this, actually... This is what we know about some reality fans. Not all some, and I love, I love them all. You have a very small few reality fans who take this too far and it impacts people's personal lives. If you don't like somebody on TV, that's cool. If you if you don't like me, that's fine. What 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 is so deplorable and karma's gonna get your ass is when you personally contact people, the businesses, the brands, the police, and do all these things, and you're trying to attack them in their personal lives. When you watch a TV show, have an opinion, talk about it, tweet about it, comment, who, who cares? So when people are saying to you about the Black Expo, these are people who do not like Tisha Marcel, and that's okay. You do not have to like them, and that's fine. Why sit up here and attack anything associated with them, contact the brands and get them removed. That's not okay. If my raindrops would ever do that, I would I would be like, what are y'all doing? It's not okay to do that. Nobody should be assaulting people like that. It's crazy to me. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. But I wanted to say for the record, you didn't make me do that event. Those people no! that, that said that Amazon's back in the event, Dr. Heavenly, we need you, and they paying me to do it, and, I, and I'm coming on. I didn't know anything about nothing, but they started texting me and saying, why are you doing, I love Melody. Melody's my girl, that's who I love, we right? We all love, the thing is this, I love Melody, you love Melody, we love Marcel, you like, it's okay guys to like somebody. To have an opinion, but, right. But that's the reason why people like to say, Carlos loves all the girls. That's what I knew was a problem when y'all take me loving someone as negative. And, and, and that's why I say to people, you some, some people, not all, some of y'all go way too far with it. So again, y'all want to make it seem like Carlos King is striking YouTube channels who talks about him. I talk about... Um, bloggers who I love, who talk about me. I'm, I have fun with them. I'm never going to sit up here and 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 fire somebody from their job the way y'all trying to do it by contacting people saying don't work with these folks. Now check and, that. The last thing I'm gonna say about it is honestly, we're trying to help black people come up. We can't tear each other down, y'all. I know we do a lot on TV, but people, real businesses, y'all can't tear down. And anything that's helping financial literacy and helping black people come ahead, because actually Amazon will be at that event looking for other people to do other things with. They're looking to spend money with our community, guys. Let's not strike stuff down. Make sure y'all register today. It's in Atlanta. It's the Black Business Expo. I don't even know that, but y'all can find it on my page. But support a brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with marriage, Love and Marriage Huntsville because I ain't watched it since. So when y'all say I knew or something and I'm against somebody and I ain't loyal, I don't know nothing. I know that I love Melody Holt. She's a very powerful black woman. I don't have nothing against Martell. I don't know the story, so I can't even speak on it. But anyway, you getting the drama you need for your show. So we're going to review that brother Tucker too. I, I can't wait to review your show. Oh, no. So the thing is this. What I want to announce to the audience is at the end of the day, this is something that me and Heavenly have organically been doing since Marriage to Medicine. And let's just say we are going to try and continue this if you guys will allow us to do it. If because you want I'm, it, having, if you want it. I'm having so much fun doing it. So can we make our announcement yet? Yeah, no, we don't have an announcement. Coming up, and we love it. So we're gonna move into Married to Medicine. Did you watch this episode, episode thirteen? Of course, I watched the episode. That's why I'm here, my love. <laughs> okay, I didn't watch it, but I was there. 
Oh and my I, God, not you didn't watch, you don't watch anything. You don't watch your own show. The people assume I know everything and all I know is what I saw. And when people say I'm like, I don't, you know, I know what I saw. I, I don't know what happened on TV. So it might've played out differently on TV than what I'm saying, because I was there. And you know how the editing, it makes things seem different. But anyway, that's neither here yes. nor there. Yeah. We started back, we still in Hilton Head. So no, so this episode was really funny because to me, I... I'm going to go on record saying I like Dr. Alicia, baby. She is no longer on mute. Dr. Alicia has a voice. I like Dr. Is it Kima? Kima, that's right. Dr. I Kima. like Dr. Kima. I love when she told Toya that she needs what a collar or, or like uh, and needs to be trained. Like Dr. Alicia is good. And I think she's great for the show. But before we get to all that, why the hell was Phaedra there if 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 it's a couple's trip? Are you frozen? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, to be honest, Phaedra did have a date that was supposed to come. You know, I'll never know what's true or what ain't. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I know the dude was supposed to come that we went on a double date with. And I actually showed the picture. And I'm going to show it to you again because you know what I mean? I want the people to know I don't be playing. You're about Next. to show the picture? I'm just saying. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we did go on a double date. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? It's the dude. He kind of look like Apollo, right? He's light skinned with a beard. Yeah, you have it. That's all you. Have. But he's a doctor. We went on that same dude was supposed to come to the trip for some for some reason something happened and he couldn't come. And I know Phage was feeling some kind of way because at the finale, which we haven't gotten to yet, I don't even know they're gonna show him. Probably not. But she dissed him at the finale. Like he, she he came, he came in to be with her and she walked by that my brother Tucker like she didn't even know him. And I was like, Phage, ain't this your boy? Like, but anyway, she was supposed to have somebody come. That's what I'm gonna say. And and what happened? He did not show up because he didn't he got, show up. He didn't show up. They said it was a death in his family. Something, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't mean maybe it was. I don't know, but I can't speak. I don't know. But anyway, that's why she she was supposed to have somebody come. Because I just thought up. it was strange how it was a big deal for my girl Toya to say Qua should not be on couples trip, but Phaedra was allowed to come without a man and sit there and eat at dinner tables where she's a single woman around these men. And then so, said she wouldn't, she didn't want to be married. And that's your prerogative, but I mean, you don't want to say that in front of a whole bunch of married women, I guess. I don't know. We're going to pray through it. But anyway, we're going to move on. I like Alicia too. You know why? Because the, what I, well, I love the fact that her husband is boisterous. Like he says what he really thinks. But the problem is she's trying to make it look like he's joking. And I'm sure to me, for me, I feel like a, uh, Alicia's a woman like I am. Okay, we're going to say we submissive, but are we really? Come on now. But I thought the comment saying well-trained, he kept saying, I got her trained up. She need to know what to do every time I come home. This day. He kept belaboring the point about her being well-trained. And I I mean, take it how you want to, but maybe well, it's not about me. Well, that's the thing. I appreciate these real conversations because... One thing we love about marriage and medicine is the fact that we get to get an inside peek in, in these marriages. And the fact that Dr. Kima said that if Alicia was allowed to control the money, they would end up in the poor house. Yeah. And, 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 and really was like, no, you can't sit up there and buy all these properties. I'm the man of the house. I'm going to control the finances. And he's it's the breadwinner too. She does not work. She's a dentist, but she does not work. Is she a retired dentist? No, I think she just doesn't like dentistry because she always says she wants to go more into real estate. And real estate really is a hard hustle right now. Unless you're Kawana Watson, the people in real estate not really making it happen like that. You know what I'm saying? And one thing you can learn from different um, venues like, like the one we're doing with the, the Black Expo, Kawana will be there. She's showing you how to market your stuff. There's so much you can learn just by coming out to different events. Kawana Watson, I don't even know her. I know her through social media. And then when I saw her in person, I acted like I knew. I walked up to her. She knew me. I knew her. And we just started talking. That's how you make things happen, guys. Listen. So anyway, real estate is a hard business. That's what she wants to do. But I don't really think she's doing it. I think she likes Cecil. Cecil not really doing no real estate. Nobody's really doing real estate. What is Cecil really doing? Um, he doing. I mean, what you see on the TV? Did you watch the show? 
I did watch the show. He um he, he, do? he was in a cooking class in this episode. Okay, then he yeah, there you go. There you go. Damon was in the class too, and they lost because Eugene can cook. Okay. Is that because Toya cannot or doesn't? I'm gonna tell you, y'all always say I'm talking about Toya because anytime I talk about everybody, anybody you bring up the name, I'm gonna talk about them, right? Toya don't do shit. I've been telling y'all that for years. <laughs> you go to Toya's house, he is cooking, he's helping the kids with the schoolwork. He, you know what I'm saying? She do take him to school, but they have to wake her up in the morning like, Mama, Mama, we gotta go to school, Mama, Mama. She told that. She tells it. Toya don't do shit. She's lazy. I done told y'all. Yeah. No, no. Please. You go to the house and somebody knock on the door. Eugene get up and run to get the door. Toya sitting like this. Ooh, bitch. What? What? Eugene, Eugene, can you go get me a glass of, uh, of, 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 no. of whatever she do? No, she do the, the white. The, uh, the <laughs> Babe, Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. And that brother Tucker get, you can't be mad. You can't be mad, but that's her I life. Mean, I swear to God, that's her life. That no way. Everything for her. No way. You be to tell me. Latoya <laughs> Bush Harris. Latoya Bush Harris. <laughs> I ain't mad. Everybody shit different. I'm just saying. Wait, wait. You mean to tell me at the raindrops that Latoya Bush Harris has to have her kids wake her up? She told me that. She to school? Yes. She be up all night, but what she will do is go play tennis. She will get up for that. She'll set her alarm to play tennis at one o'clock because she got to be there. Which Why is she got to be there? Because that's what she do. That's her job. But my whole thing is that's her fabulous life. I mean, I don't understand it to save my life, but it is what it is. And I can't be mad at it that she got her <laughs> food. I got me a food too, but I would not require him to do the stuff like that. Like, I want to help. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? So Not Eugene yet. is the breadwinner. He's the cook. He's the door opener. He's the butler. Yes. So what does what does Toya do within within twenty four hours of a day? Nothing. <laughs> not not a not a brother took a thing. Nothing. I mean, she probably do take the kids to school. You know what I mean? And but for the most part, I'm gonna just say seriously, he do everything. Everything you see on TV, he having to take out her weed, but then she continuously puts him down. I don't understand it, but you know what? Some people love it. Like Eugene must love that about her. Some people like that kind of relationship. Like when I cuss out my boobies, some people love that. So to each his own, I'm not in there. Okay. When I saw um, this past episode and they show the, the flashback of Eugene cutting the weave, real talk, when you, King Carlos, why Nini not a bold and bougie? Oh, uh, <laughs> Well, thank you for watching Bold and Bougie every Thursday, 9 o'clock, 8 central on WeTV. Guys, it's a, it's a brand new show. Malaysia, Tamika Foster, Raymond, Goshe, Crystal Princess. Okay. Um, she's not on Bold and Bougie, guys, because Nini is doing other projects that I'm unable to disclose. All right. Okay. Yeah. And I'll leave it at that. But Nini is definitely booked and busy. I know that's right. Now, getting back to um, a husband cutting up his wife's weave. Would Dr. Damon ever cut the weave out of your head? I think if I needed him to, but that, I wouldn't ask him to. Damon not the type of dude that, he not gonna cook, he not gonna clean up, and you know what? Everybody got their thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he work, he's a, he's, you know, he, he supports me in every way. I feel safe with him. He's not gonna get into women's business. He's not gonna gossip, but nah, he ain't gonna take, I mean, I, he probably would if I asked him to, but that ain't the, the premise of our relationship. He's not cooking for me. I take pride in serving my husband. I just do. But everybody's different. If he like doing it, I love it. Just like Kima and Alicia. If they don't have oral sex, she made it very clear that that's their damn business. That's their business. She got on my live. We did, we went live because Frazier couldn't go live the night of the show. So I went live and Dr. Alicia came in. She got on the defense about it. She was like, anybody that got something to say about it is either not married, they not happy, or they single or something, or they divorced. She came in real hard. I was like, bitch, calm down. Well, apparently Dr. Yeah. Kima comes in real hard. Yeah. Um, but so she prefers to do that because it makes him happy. I think that Alicia is like me. I don't think she like that. I think that she's trying to play a role for him. 
Meaning that he, you know, and a lot of men feel this way. David probably does too. He is the leader of the household by, by his actions, not because I'm saying he's the leader. This man keeps saying he the leader, he the leader, he the leader. And in my mind, I know Alicia's a strong-minded woman. She's not no, she's a, she's not a, I'm trying to think of somebody. Like, I don't know these people, but like, she's not a, like a Letitia. She's not mild and, and you know what I'm saying? And innocent and allowing her husband to do. No, she's strong-minded. She will curse you out. So for her to be like, she's this submissive woman, it's similar to Dr. Heavenly. We know that ain't happening. So does Damon require you to do that to him, the oral sex part a lot? I enjoy serving my husband. So requirements, that I thought that was just a part of, you know what I mean? I, I mean, to be honest, I, 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 I thought, <laughs> I, thought every, I know there's an exception to every rule because I'm a biology major. I know it's an exception, but I thought everybody married, you know what I'm saying? Oral, whatever. I yeah, know, I mean, look. Doing that in marriage. Well, look, I definitely think this. When you are in a relationship, before you get married, you should definitely, both parts, your husband and your wife, you should know exactly what it takes to please your well, partner. She said it was the African culture. Now, so your man don't go down because it's African because that's what she said. Well, I have an African. He goes down. He goes left. He goes right. He yields. He proceeds with caution. It's slippery when wet. It's um, travel. Enough. <laughs> Enough. But Phaedra even said the African she had did it. So I don't know what they're trying to portray. Like in their culture, maybe they stay specific tribe. That they don't do the oral, she can't. No, I just think that's. I think that's BS. Listen, I think if you are in love with somebody, you should be able to please them. You know, I think if one man or woman won't do it, another one will. That's how I live my life. If my African ain't satisfied, I know that there's some other scallywags around the block who would love to do it. Now, granted, you mess around on this, I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, one thing right. I have never done, and I know there's too much information, but I'm throwing out, I don't swallow like Toya do. You don't? I'm a whole fucking did it. I'm not finna, uh -uh. Come on now. Ooh. My God, my God, my, my, my. You swallow. Oh, my. Well, oh. I, first of all, I know how to stop before it gets to that I, point. There you have it. There yeah, you I, I'd rather have it on my chest. But no, Toya nasty. She talking about she take it all in and So Toya's a swallower? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. But I believe she said that. I'm almost positive she said that. I'm almost. Well, you're not going to accuse my good sis of being a swallower and she didn't say she, she was. Said that, but I'm trying to think, was it on camera? But does it surprise you? I think, to, well, it surprised me that Toya's kids have to wake her up to take them to school. But she said that. Now, that, that's a fact. Now, she told me that. Uh, at that point, anything is possible, baby. Right. So, okay, so they putting out there, okay, the man is in control of the household. He's the breadwinner. She says she's a dentist, but she don't want to practice dentistry anymore. She wants to do real estate. I don't see that she's doing it that much. Maybe she's taking classes. Maybe she's learning how to do it. I don't know. But like I say, to each his own. But when she came in my life, I don't know, maybe I do it to people, but she came in very aggressive. Like, wait a minute, y'all out here saying that I, you know what I'm saying? And I live my life and that's my business. That's my, and I just kept saying it. We're just discussing what's going on in the show, boo. You don't got to come with all of that. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to let you come back because I'm probably- Wait, was she mad? She was mad. Yes. At you? I don't know if she was just mad at me, but it came off kind of strong. Maybe she was just mad at the situation. You know, when you ain't used to it, I don't know. But my whole thing is I told her I might not bring her back because, you know what I mean? If she going to get mad at this, I might have to just stop her. Dr. Alicia, please don't, Dr. Alicia, I, listen- we are finally talking about your presence on this show, which is a great thing. Because I was wondering if you were on the Beyonce Mute Challenge. And now that I heard you speak, I opened up this podcast episode with giving your flowers. Like, this is a good thing. You, I really like Dr. Alicia. I want to see more of her. I thought she was so strong in this episode. Mm -hmm. I love Dr. Kima. I love the dynamics that they're bringing because it's very traditional. And I like the fact that Toya and her five cocktails in was 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 digging deep to the point. Are you doing it right? She asked the question. Are you doing it right? 
Yeah, yeah. No, Toya knew what she was doing, and, and so did Dr. Alicia. And Toya made Dr. Alicia clock in. So, Dr. Alicia, this is a great thing. It's a great thing. But Toya said that when it comes to you and Damon, um, because you made a comment that maybe he puts it in his in his ear. And no, Toya I said, said I'll put it anywhere I need to put it, even in my ear if I need to. I'm doing okay. whatever it takes to please him. I, to please him, I can pretend like I'm swallowing, but I ain't swallowing nothing. I'm just letting you know that. But everything else, pretty much. You know what I mean? Well, Toya said that the way she sees y'all get down, he puts it in every hole it looks like. I take it. I take it. I ain't mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> you, know what? you know, they say the people that talk about it all the time ain't doing it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? We've been married 26 years. So, why they cut so much from this season? I don't know, Darren. I don't know. Well, the thing is this when you only have so many, I'll speak about this as a producer. When you only have a certain amount of episodes and you overshoot, there is a lot that you just can't fit into a season. Now, granted, there's some stuff that they cut that I'm like, that was important, like a Phaedra double date. But major the majority of it, that's the reason. And they said, why do you say everything in the green screen that you do everything better than Toya? What's that negative shade of from there? Call it what you want to call it. My whole thing is when you do your shade, for example, I'm going to say this for Dr. Alicia. If your husband is saying you're well-trained and you're saying, hey, I'm that submissive, stand in your shit. Yes, I said, it. I said it and I meant it. I do everything better. I'm a better lover. I don't know that. How do I know that, boo? How do you, how do you know that? You know? I don't know that. I'm just assuming that I would try harder. I work harder at it because Toya ain't going to work hard at nothing. Okay, so I'm working harder. Okay, that's all I meant. Fun banter, take it however you want to take it, nurse charm. But I ain't backing down from shit I said, and that's what I see reality TV is. Own who you are. If you that person, say you are. Don't start backpedaling when we get to the reunion, saying, "Oh, I didn't mean that," and you know, unless you did. Unless well, you did. we we also have to get into the reunion too because you dropped some tea about that, and I have questions, although it it hasn't aired yet, but. Apollo showed up at the reunion. First of all, how did he look? I'm a, I'm a woman. I'm a married lady. <laughs> I mean, on a scale of one to ten, from from poor to damn near perfection, what would you have given Apollo's presence? He made the other men look bad. That's outside of my man. Outside of my man. I mean, because he was well-dressed. He looked like he was very... He looked like TV-worthy. And then he came in strong. Like, this is what I like about him. If you're going to come in and you're going to say something, stay up, stay with your back out. And have Phaedra back there screaming. She <laughs> you know, did not know that she, she cannot that? control him. That man do and say what he want to do. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. And she looking like she's so uncomfortable. Like, ooh. I swear to God, I was like, oh, I love this. I love this man because he, I know they're not married no more, but seemed like to me, he got her card and he will pull it at any time. Like, Phaedra, Phaedra, don't start that fake shit up in here because we're going to, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, did I was he, like, did he say that to her? I'm paraphrasing, but yes. Don't start that shit because I bust your bubble. Don't do that, Phaedra. Don't. I was like, oh, oh. And, what, and what, what did she do? And you know, and I ain't giving away, but when he would say something that she didn't say that was all the way already right, she'll say something and she'll, she'll say, No, that's not true. What happened was this. And she'll say, Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Apollo is definitely, I always love Apollo. Apollo is a truth teller. He, Apollo, when I work with him, that's how he is. He doesn't like it when you fake it in front of him. Well, he brought up everything and everybody from housewives to everybody you wanted to know about. He laid it out. He answered every question. That's why I say people say, well, why was Apollo there? He wasn't there the whole season. Y'all going to be glad that Apollo came. And to me, now that we know he can come, because at first we were told that he could not come. That's what we were told. I don't know. But now we got him. Now, if 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 you come back the next season, now we can get everything we wanted this season as far as the co-parenting and seeing how the new wife and you know that's my thought. I'm a producer, I ain't you know, I don't get paid for it, Carlos, but you know what I'm saying. No, listen, like in my humble opinion, because my thing is this 
number one, congratulations on having the highest rated season in Married to Medicine his Wait, bitch, we got $27. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's why I say I got to pull it up. I can't even read it. Listen, so Simone set up that slumber party with tits for a midget in that box of a living room. <laughs> Guys, you can't say wow, that. What a big kiss for little, 10 years. Hopefully they will have more room at Tammy's house next season. Come on, Hilton Head. Praise God, DC wanted to put up this. First of all, it's called Little People of uh, DC. So I got to correct you there. So wait, <laughs> hopefully they'll have more room at Tammy's house next season. Let me y'all brought up Tammy. And they say they're going to do a, what a John? What did you, what'd she say? A Tammy's John. gone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Tammy's house. No, you know what? We going. What's Apollo's wife name? I. You're not gonna give me in trouble, Phaedra. I'm good. Uh -uh. Going to her house. I don't want no problem, with Phaedra. I'm good, baby. We going Listen. to her house next season. We going. To I don't Tammy's know her house. name. We going to her house. We going to Dominican, baby. See what's going on down there. We going everywhere. We going to the Dominican. I'm going to produce this shit. We going for the girls' trip. We going to Dominican to see what's going on down there to see the projects that. Curtis is working on, and then we're going to get an international trip and go to Africa to meet this dude that Phaedra was talking to, possibly. He ain't even in Africa, but we're going to see what how the Africans do chemo and ask them, do they do oral? Because I need to know. <laughs> First of all, I don't know where this thing went, but let me, let me back this, this, this brink shrink up a bit of uh, DC. Okay, so you want the cast trip to be a DR so we can see the houses Curtis is working on. Who this baby that gave me some more money? Look. You <laughs> <laughs> see whoever it is ain't showing their face, but they got time today. Hey, Boopy, I'm going to say this and I'm going to take it back. Please tell Toya to stop talking about Eugene's private parts. Don't nobody want to hear about Toya kissing a pig in the blanket between his legs. Woo, child. Fix it, Lord, please. <laughs> DC, now they're going to say I said this shit and they're going to have an ambush the next season uh -uh. and I said some shit that you said, DC. But I don't want to talk about his privacy anymore either. No, no. That man is a respectable man. I feel like he does a lot. He works hard. Let's not put him down. Even We're not, well, listen, in DC's defense, this is what I told Toya when I interviewed her. When you sat up there and talked about Dr. <laughs> they're going to talk about it for life. That's it. That's it. These comments are so shady. <laughs> These my boobies are they your raindrops. These are my boobies because they say hey, oh, boobies. boobies, baby. <laughs> my raindrops know how to behave. Okay. They like to read me, but not other people, child. Lord. Okay. Look, we are going to. Oh, I I, I saw a super chat about uh, going to Africa for another reason, Dr. Heavenly. Okay, let's go on. on. <laughs> Why are y'all so? I don't know what we bring to the people. For someone who is a lazy housewife, she sure likes to be in everybody else's business. I do too, y'all, but I be working. But we're going to continue to let Tacky Toya live it up playing tennis, not paying her taxes, and being. She paid the taxes. Back. First of all, uh, Rashad Gamble, hi. Toya and Eugene paid off their taxes. So let's give it up. They paid off their taxes. And Toya is a woman of leisure. She likes to play tennis at 1 o'clock. Um, Heavily said the alarm goes off at 1245. Enough time for her to get ready. Go on her golf cart um, because she lives in a big gated community and she goes to the tennis court, right? Yeah. And and she's a great reality star. So that's why she's in everyone's business. There I love to see Toya, baby. Defend her, baby. You don't defend me, Carlos. I defend you more than anybody I know. No, you don't. Mm -mm, you don't. I don't feel like you do. But I Toya, defend you all the time. My whole thing is, yes, Toy is messy, but hell, so am I. I love a reality TV star that's staying in a mess. They're standing. Don't start back. You know what I mean? Tell the truth. No, Tell somebody truth. said Toya is living her best soft life. And I think that's, I think that's, 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 that is amazing. And I so, love that for her. I love that for her. I have a problem when men do it. But when women do it, I'm okay with it. I think it's wonderful. Now, let's get back to this reunion. I believe that, um, okay, I believe that Phaedra watches our live. Yeah. Okay. And, or and somebody sends her clips of them, something. 
Oh, I, I can believe that too. And in my opinion, I believe that Phaedra knew to bring Apollo on the reunion will secure her spot next season. But with that being said, Phaedra has done an interview, Dr. Heavenly, and she said that she has been in talks with the Real Housewives of Atlanta producers to come back to that show. Do you think Phaedra should go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta? The question should be, have they had talks about her going to <laughs> People say anything. I don't know. I'm going to say this and I'm going to take it back. <laughs> I don't think as a producer, come on, Carlos, anything's possible. I'm just going to say that. But I don't think that they, I don't think that they would. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into this, but y'all know. Okay. So isn't it possible that Candy could come back? Like, okay, no. she on this. You don't think she's coming back? Next, I mean, no. not season 16, but 17, 18. Maybe. No. You don't think she ever coming back? No, I think my, my opinion, I think Candy really wants to spend the next two to three years figuring out her next empire that she's building. And knowing Candy, she's not going to leave for one season and come back because it'll defeat the purpose of the other projects she has going on, which is why, to me, I have heard that Phaedra is talking to them. Now, are they saying yes or no? I'm not going to say all that. But I have heard that Phaedra is talking to them. And I will say this. Phaedra does not belong in Maritime Medicine. And, and this trip exposed it. The rest of the season exposed it. It's nothing against Phaedra. She's a fantastic reality star. She's the queen of traders. She's fantastic on that show. Let's talk about traders, though. Ain't traders a show where you don't have to really talk about your personal life? I'm just asking. Yes, that's why she's great. And the whole premise of the show is to pretend or, lack of a better word, I ain't going to say it. You say it. I ain't going to say it. But falsehood. Right? So Alle Allegedly. In a position. Phaedra's an attorney. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to keep it professional. She's an attorney. So, of course, she knows how to. I think she was great. I love Phaedra. I think she was great. I love her, too. And she's great on Trader. She's not great on Maritime Medicine. And I think it's okay to say that. It was, it was a great stunt casting to get the people talking. It lasted for two weeks. I believe that Phaedra belongs on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But but you are there with her. And you also watch Atlanta Housewives. So I want to hear from you. Do you want Phaedra to stay? Or do you think she's better served on, on Housewives? First of all, I'm going to say, I don't watch any show. You know, if I don't watch mine, I don't watch theirs. I see the clips that come on Instagram. So I see the one when she was ready to have a baby or get away from me to Apollo. So I see the highlights of the show that come on the clips on Instagram. Um, I think that Phaedra can do well any, in any space. Now, did she, they cut out a whole lot. I'm going to say this. But could she have given more? Absolutely. But I think that she has potential to do well in any, in any, in any situation. Now, Housewives, yes, because we want to see the dynamics of that over there. But for me, for our show, I want to keep her over here because we want the story of Apollo and the wife and all of that. We want that. Well, I, I, and, and I respect that. I respect that. I respect well, that. that's what I'm going to do. Let me, let's be real. You badger that woman. Hi, Carlos. Badger which woman? You got to say which one, Jay to Jim. You going to spend another $10 to tell me who you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying, I probably did. Okay, who else, Badger? Maybe, I badger everybody. Toya? Maybe Toya. Maybe Toya. I talk about everybody, though. Did I not talk about Sweet Tea? Did I not talk about... The real person I don't lay into like I should probably is Jackie because that's my friend. But the rest of them hoes, they can get it. Quad, Quad be mad at... She probably mad now. I don't know. But Quad, me and Quad cool. We got a toxic relationship. But I do lay in the Quad. She my friend. She my girl. But I will talk about her ass. I will talk about me. Not too much. Now, you all ain't going to get too much. But I would talk about me and what I had on. I did not like my dress at the thing. I thought it was so inappropriate. I felt like I was so uncomfortable in that dress. But I did it to get the people talking. I mean, what you want, Jay, as a gym? Thank you for the $10, though. But, yeah, I talk about everybody. Well, but, but again, that's the reason why this episode was really good. Because y'all all talk about everybody. I like the fact that Dr. Jackie and Sweet Tea had that moment together. What did you think about that? I think I think that the same thing you think. I don't think Jackie gonna fool with that woman no more. I think she's gonna be cordial. 
I think that, honestly, I know people are saying that Jackie played with her. And yeah, I'm going to say that it was condescending to call her a little girl. But she is a little girl in the mind. She just act old as far as like her movements and the way she dressed. And, you know, she always tired and all that. But later on, we learned out she had some issues. But mentally immature. That's why everybody kept saying little girl. Because think about it. They we caught well, I didn't quit. Well, I didn't, but Jackie used to call quiet baby girl all the time. No offense to that, but yeah, it seemed more condescending now because she's married to somebody that's so much older than her. Okay, so you know what I mean? I don't know, but uh, at the end of the day, the apology, thank you, you're released, as Jackie put it. But <laughs> Jackie's gonna be nice to you, she's gonna come and say, Hey, girl, how you doing? But I know my friend, she's not, she's not finna. Yeah, I listen, I thought it was nice for Jackie to own up that, listen, by her being married to an older man, I used the wrong choice of word, and I see why she could be mad <coughs> at that. So I love the fact that Dr. Jackie took ownership and knew where she went wrong in the situation. But I do agree with you. I think Dr. Jackie, based on what's been happening, I think she's never going to attend an event thrown by her. Calm, and, but she's not going to do too much. She's going to say, hey, you know, whatever. But my whole thing is Quad was 10, 13 years younger and Jackie called her baby girl, but it was never really an issue. So I don't know, maybe it was said differently or was taken differently because it's 23 years now, which both of them still a stretch. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. The other thing this episode was when you guys are around each other and we see some of this happening next week's episode, um, when Eugene says in next week's episode that the word divorce came up. Who? Eugene said that? Eugene, the question was, has the word divorce ever been brought up in your marriage? And Eugene said, absolutely, yes, it has. It definitely has been said by him. <clears throat> Were you surprised by that revelation because it appeared to all of us that Eugene is 10 toes down with Toya and whatever she does. I, I will say this. I, and, you know, and, you know, I was talking about my marriage. Um, to me, for us, divorce is not an option. That's why, the, you know what I'm saying? Because she go down and you could get mad about it or whatever. Toya said on the TV that she even told the kids that they were going to be separated. So at some point, and I'm sure it's probably during the time that she was talking about his private part. To me, it ain't but so much somebody could take. But I do feel like Eugene loves Toya, uh, unconditional, and will forgive her over the... But it's something about Toya that I don't think a whole lot of people see. Toya, you could... Toya, to me, I like Toya. Even though she's a messy bitch, she... It's something about her. She can be really sweet at times. For real. Yeah. Like, you know Toya? Toya, cool. The problem with Toya, and, and I'm not going to say it's a problem, is Toya really don't give a fuck. And my whole thing is, I love people like that because stand in your shit, whoever you are, be that. I think it took her a while to get there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now, she like, hey, you know what? I'm living my fabulous life. My man do do what I say do. And, you know. But I do think that it was difficult for him to process all the things that's happened on TV. Like I say, reality TV will ruin a marriage. And, and it's questionable to me why certain new marriages would even come to reality TV, i.e. Dr. G and his wife. To me, you can't care that much because you know that people are going to pry. You know that people are going to talk. You know, And if you're involved, like for me, Cecil, not Cecil, Curtis. Curtis ain't on social media, so he, you know what I mean? He yeah, old, yeah. he is 64 years old, he don't give a damn. But my whole thing is the people that are on social media, i.e. Dr. G and them people, they really arguing about the shit that happened on TV. Just like Eugene watches every episode. In fact, he's downloaded every episode to have everything, and they on Twitter and all. So he sees all that shit. And and, and it's negative. It's it's when, when people say things, people engulfed it. I think T.I. said it the best, talking about Tiny. He was like, everything that's been going on in my relationship has been okay until it was publicized and the people start talking, and that's when it became a problem. So, yeah, I think they probably talked about divorce. I think that probably a lot of them have talked about divorce. My thing is, I try not to do that because, I mean, don't get me wrong, me and my husband argue, we get mad or whatever, mainly about these damn kids. But... Divorce to me, when I made that commitment, I'm going to say to myself that that ain't even on the table. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, there has been times on my head. We, even when we met, we still go to bed together. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. So I think that if you let it prolong and you get, but we not arguing about this show because I can do or say whatever, except the time he went to the strip club and I cursed his ass out about that. <laughs> but he not watching it. He not on Twitter. He's not concerned. He doing his own thing, which helps our relationship. Yeah. And then I uplift him on the show. I don't really say nothing bad. What can I say? Really, the man work. He not taking out no weed, but that's not the type of man he is. He just not. But I love the man he is, and I prayed every day for him, and I thank God for him every day. <laughs> I'm just saying it ain't but so much a person can take. You know what I'm saying? So no, I agree with that, and, and that's why I love um, Dr. Eugene and Toya's marriage, and I and I really want it to work. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. If he could take all this and sustain all this over these years, he could take anything. Ain't shit else she could do. What else can she do? So let's get into what's going to happen in the finale. We see that Quad is back in the finale. She's going to the event. Hey, Tisha. She's coming to the event. And what can we expect from this season finale that is coming next Monday? Okay. Speaking of which, Lyrics has a question. Does Quad have a man in Africa? Listen, Quad told me not to speak on her shit. Quad got a man. My whole thing is Quad got a man, but I don't know who it is. Quad got a man. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Quad is, Quad is, Quad got a man. That's what I'm going to say about it. Now, is he African? Probably. She go over there too much not to be. I'm going to just call him. But I don't know. I don't honestly know. And anybody with any damn sense, if you don't want me to, if you don't want the world to know, don't tell me. But if, no, but seriously, if Quad told me heavily I'm dating this dude and I don't want nobody to know, keep it under wraps. I would. But if you go ask me a question, I, I pretty much know Quad got a man. I'm almost positive, but I don't know where he's from. But chances are he's from Africa. Because ain't no way here you going to Africa all these different damn times and not getting no, you know. She, she says she goes there to hang out with the Andy and okay. Mindy. Yes. Okay. All right. And, and a lot of charitable. Is Yandy married? Huh? Is Yandy married? I don't yeah. know. Her. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Yandy's right. married. And there's a lot of charitable events that's happening in I'm that so country. Sure. I've asked Quad to, to commit charitable events over here. She don't want to. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to just say this and I'm going to take it back. Yeah, I think she got a man. Probably even in Africa, but I don't know. Quad get mad about nothing. But okay. It's quite hard to be friends. Yes. Yes. No, she's not. <laughs> oh, no. You don't know that the way that I do. Yes, she is. Why? She is what, okay. What makes it hard to be friends with Quad? Because that's not the Quad that I know. Okay, well, you might not know her like I do. You don't know her. That's just like Andy saying, Heavenly, you don't know uh, such and such. Contessa does not talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? I, you don't know. <laughs> what is very difficult because she gets mad about simple things. I mean, we joan on each other. To me, the stuff that she gets mad about, really. But you can't tell people what to get mad about. I'm going to tell you that. Um, I talk about everybody. That's just my position on the show I do and probably except Jackie and I talk about her ass too because we do need to go to Dominican and see what the hell going on down there but with, 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 with Curtis you a messy bitch you know who said yeah, we need I wanted to literally, literally, I wanted to look at no, no 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 you literally just said we need to go down to the Dominican to see what's going down there. I want to see the the um the um rental properties and 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 investment. I mean, there's a lot of things there. being rented in Dominican Republic, and I don't know if it's property. There's some investments there. down there I want to see about. There are some investments in some other things that's not the dirt you and the see. grass. But to answer your question, to me, Quad is hard to be friends with. But I love, I love Quad. It's something about Quad. It's a love hate relationship. We have a very toxic relationship. But anytime Quad call me, I'm there, and vice versa. So we true sisters, just like my sister. Listen, we uh we fall out, but we fall back in. I was very angry with Quad at that um dinner table when um when we were in um in California, and 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 we're gonna talk about it at the reunion. We actually talked about it at the reunion, talked it out at the reunion. So y'all got something to look for. Lack of accountability. Um, I feel like ah, I don't know about that. I don't know. Transparency. I think she's more transparent than I am. Oh. I always need the victim. I think that honestly, after all this accountability, I think that just for one year they wanted to make her take accountability. Just like they wanted to do with me when they did the ambush. Did it work? 
I, I still think, because because even the last time I saw Quad and me and her, and I went live with her, I said, Quad, you got anything to say? Well, they didn't apologize to me. I was waiting for them to apologize to me for what they did to me. I don't know. But anyway, yes, it's difficult, but I do love her. Quad Carlos called it. And um, <laughs> it's something fun and funny about Quad that I can't even put my mouth, mouth on. But you'll be mad at her, but you cannot stop loving Quad. That's what I'm going to say about her. She's like a true sister. Like, you might not like this bitch today. And yes, she hard. But some kind of way, it's worth the time and effort that you Who put is texting you? Is that Dr. Jackie? No, nah, that's my daughter, actually. That's a oh. She's not watching it. She asked me something about something else. Okay. Um, the, the fans are asking you a question. I answered the question. Is it hard to be friends with Jackie? No, 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 no. There's, oh. Oh. Okay, let me get to it then. I don't see it yet. Let's see. Is it this? Showing some love. Thank you, Chelsea. We love you, baby. Okay, here you go. Shop. My, my. I hope that uh, your cast may show appreciation to Carlos. They do not. <laughs> he has generated much conversation. I agree. The interviews with Quad Mariah, the weekly lives have been a big contrast. I believe all of thank this. Thank you, Chop. Chop. Thank you, Chop. I, I, I truly believe it. And I thank you, Carlos. I'm going to say yeah. thank you for doing this. I'm going to thank you again because I don't think it's understood. I don't think, I think that people know what I'm doing and they appreciate what I'm doing, but they don't like what I'm doing. Like Simone and them get it, but they don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. But if you say something about them some kind of way, somebody messy going to pull the slide and show it to them. And then they're going to be mad because they take it out of context. Just like I said, Quad was a hard friend, but then I coupled it with something else. They're not going to show that coupling. You see, just like I say, Toya is lazy, which she is. But I also couple that she's living a fabulous life that most people will want. You know what I'm saying? Just like I say, you know, anything. Just like I said, we're going out of the Dominican to see what's going on down there. But I also couple it with there's some great real estate down there that we need to take a look at. <laughs> so my whole thing is, no, I don't think they appreciate Carlos like they probably should. Because his name came up in a reunion two, three times. And I'm not going to say it was in a positive light. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> <laughs> but one thing's for sure this is what i'm gonna say let me say this one thing carlos one thing's for sure y'all keep saying i get in trouble for doing these lives and i'm gonna lose my these people love the fuck that i do this they love it if they wanted me to stop i promise you it ain't but no they got plenty of people on their payroll they call heavenly heavenly hey how are you yeah about your lives i don't think it's a good idea they would tell me to stop i asked these people specifically is this live a problem no, keep doing it. Keep doing it. They tell me to keep doing it. So for y'all to think that, that's just wrong. I know I say I'm going to get in trouble and all that, and I'll be playing. These people love this. This is doing overtime for free. Understand? But understand, just like Carlos, I see the big picture. Because after this, okay, I don't work as hard as Carlos, and I probably do, but I got another job. He got other jobs. I probably need to do better. But once you build an audience, that audience is there for you to talk about whatever. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think that everybody should go live. In fact, I commend Sweet T for going live. I just want her to monetize her shit and draw it the right way, which she would have learned at Dr. Heaven University, but that's never here nor there. But I appreciate people that go overboard to promote our show. I really do. And thank you, Carlos, for doing that, okay? No, listen, you, you're welcome. And, and you have always thanked me. And look, I will say this. At the end of the day, I'm doing this because I love the show. I, I love you. I, I do love all the girls. Regardless how they feel about me, that's fine. This is a wonderful Black ensemble cast. No, no, no. I must not say all the girls. It was just one girl, and you know who that was. Oh, no, 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 The other girls love you. But no, that no. one girl, she just in her feelings. She and, get get and, and listen, listen. No harm, no foul. And I get it, and I understand it, and this two show pass. I do this because at the end of the day, I love this black ensemble cast and I have a platform that has a, 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 a nice little reach and I wanted to show the world what a great show this is. So Heavenly has always, every day, every week has thanked me endlessly. So I want y'all to know that. There you have it. There should be a marriage to, marriage, marriage to law and have Phaedra be on the pilot with the, without a doubt. Okay. Married to, law, married to law. Okay. Um... Toya Swallow. <laughs> Y'all gave me $2 to say that. <laughs> I just think it's nasty. Don't you think that's nasty, Carlos? Like, golly. <laughs> Whether or not Toya Swallows is her business, 
But to say that Toya swallows because she doesn't have anything to do is so rude. Yeah, the truth is always rude. I, I'm with you, KH. There you go. Fei Fei, now I think that Fei Fei has been traumatized, if lack, lack of a better word. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she ever gonna come in any show. And you probably have to come for Phaedra because I have seen things said about Phaedra on the show and she gives nothing. Like, I don't think, I think that she wants to be the girl to throw the flashy parties, to dress up, uh, make, but I don't think she want to be in a minutia of the mess. That's what but I think. They, but that's why she does. And listen again, guys, like, like she said, y'all take what I'm about to say without the coupling of it. Phaedra is a great reality star. She does have PTSD to me as well. She's not giving us any, anything. Phaedra has not spoken at all these past two episodes since she's been on the couple's trip. We don't see a lot what's going on with her. It's, it's, and guess what? It's okay to say it's not a fit. The reason why we love Marriage Medicine is because you ladies give so much to this show. Y'all show us the ins and outs of y'all jobs and y'all marriages. And I know that for you and Damon, the marriage thing is off limits, but you at least show us in your house with your kids. Um, we love your daughter because we feel like we grew up with her or she grew up with us, you know what I mean? So that's what Phaedra isn't getting. She's great on Traders because she doesn't have to talk about her personal life. The reason why I want her back on Atlanta Housewives <clears throat> is because she won't be able to- Slide through, Kenya will pull it out of her. Oh, baby. Amaro. Baby, baby yes. We want to see all of that. Get her on Housewives. It's a chop. There you have it. There you have it. And I'm going to say, I, you know what? I think that there's all different type of couples. And any in any friendship group, some couples don't tell all their damn business. So that's just my reality. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm just not being trained. People don't tell all it. Like, it really ain't nothing to tell. The only thing that me and my husband argue about is probably these damn kids. We do too much for them. That's my thought. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like Simone told me, she went to therapy for years to learn this. Let everybody parent the way they want to parent. If you don't want to do shit, you don't do it. Let him do it. So mm. I ain't go to therapy. I ain't pay the money, but that's what I learned. But you know what I'm saying? The bad mouth my husband, I would never do it. I would never do it. I would never curse him out on TV. I just wouldn't do it. That's just me. So, I mean, you know, anyway. Well, going back to what can we expect from Quad at the finale? Was it was it a great comeback? I can't tell you. You know why? Because it was um, interesting. Did she have a conversation with Dr. G and Sweet T together? Shia Burke and, and they did <laughs> no, no deed to put inside it. <laughs> so irresponsible, greedy, and impulsive. A soft life isn't cute when you can lose it so easily. You know what? I always, you know, I learned this from a Jamaican guy. I How always, you just cut me off to read a question? I wasn't done talking to you. I was done. I was done with it. <laughs> I always run scared. I work hard, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I don't have as much as I want to have. So I work really, really hard every day. And, and, you know, I don't know, I run scared because, um, you know, if with finances, you get scared. So, yes, I tried a beauty supply store. That didn't work out for me. I am ending that beauty supply store. Smiles by Dr. Heavenly has always been my breadwinner. Um, I will always run scared to pay off my bills because I feel like anything can happen. That's one thing I love about me and my husband is if I didn't work tomorrow, I think that everything would still be good and vice versa. If he didn't work tomorrow... I, it, the same thing is good. I think that you get married to build a relationship and be a powerful couple. I think that at least that's what I did. But I think what's different and unique about our marriage is that I work hard equally. Well, I ain't gonna say equally as hard. Damon go to work more than I do. But well, not not really because I do work on reality TV. But I feel like he's still the the the, the leader of the household. And usually people like me don't feel that way. We feel like a 50-50 partnership is not that. So I think that Damon appreciates the woman that I am and everybody's relationship is different, but we are into gender roles just because I'm not going, well, he don't do it either, cut out the, cut the grass, but he does empty the garbage. He does make sure the house is safe. If somebody knock, you know, come, he's, so that's just us, but every relationship is different. And for Toya, the things that she does is allowed. So, is she happy? She complain all the time. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I'm so 
gotta fix this up. Can you fix this for us, Carlos? Fix what for you? This statement. Child, a Birkin and no D to put inside of. <laughs> I just realized she said child a Birkin and no deed to put inside of it. Toya is irresponsible, greedy, and impulsive. A soft life is not cute when you can lose it so easily. Look, I think Toya mm -hmm. has skin in the game. Toya has sweat equity in her marriage. Toya won't ever be broke a day in her life from this day moving forward. And how can you say that anybody could go broke? Because no, no, no. Toya has sweat equity in her marriage. Okay, but Eugene, if he can't work anymore and they've spent all the money, you okay? I, I don't even get no, into no, it. No, I, I believe no, no, no. better than you, but I strongly believe that when you have went through what they went through with their taxes, that they have made some very smart choices, and I do believe, based on what I've watched on the show, because I can only base off of that, right? That they have made situations to where they are going to be comfortable. But okay, Carlos, we could say that. But okay, I'm gonna just leave it alone. But if you're renting a house for ten, fifteen thousand a month that you don't own, you cannot write that off. That that's the whole purpose of home ownership. Even now, I'm looking for properties to buy. We just bought another property because we didn't have a write off because our home was paid off. So I'm saying, if you understand money, you got to understand that them taxes are a brother tuck, and they taking damn near forty seven percent. Because if you on a thirty percent, thirty three percent, depending on your tax bracket, plus a seven percent payroll because he's an independent contractor. Half your money gone. You know what I'm saying? So if you're spending it health hazardly, you got two kids to go. I'm just saying, I would do yeah. things a little bit differently. Her rent is fifteen thousand a month. Have you seen the house they in? Mm -hmm. It's very nice, and it's in a gated community, just where Anila them. That house probably three million dollars easily. Renting. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And then she got a $17,000 Birkin. And we're going to get into that at the finale. And the people going to think I'm real mean for what I did at the finale. But stay with me because where you act up at is where you get your ass whipped at. I don't care if it is an event that I paid for. If I paid for the event, sit your ass down. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about it. And we'll talk about it some more. But y'all can say what y'all want to. But I did it. And I'm going to stand on it, what I did. Because it might not have been the right place, but that's where y'all acted the hell out at. And that's what y'all got. Okay? So that's it. Anyway, moving on. But I love Toya. She's sweet as pie. Ah, that ain't going to be you. I be supporting everybody's business. I think Dr. Jackie wanted sweet tea out of her face. Those are facts, Melita. 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 Those are facts. Who was dressed like Babs at the reunion? You tell me. When you see the reunion, look. Okay, now which Babs character? The Halle Berry character? Or the Halle Berry. Character? Halle Berry. Did somebody have an orange? Baby, I ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? Y'all watching and y'all tell me who's still dressed up like Babs. They gonna be mad as hell. But anyway. <laughs> is Toya and Eugene's house is Toya and Eugene's house that didn't decide to move out this season rented or own? We just said it was rented. But my whole thing is I'm glad that their storyline wasn't that they were moving this season. But it probably will be next season. <laughs> next I, season. I they got moved. Up of YouTube live, uh, probably. They got to move because if they're renting now, it only makes sense for them to own, correct? Well, I are, are they building another home like they did before? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, last I heard, she said uh, publicly that she was looking for a house in Buckhead. I mean, maybe Wait, that's wrong to say, but where are they she, at she now? was looking for another house, huh? Where are they at now? What area? They up way north. Okay. north. They don't say where. But my whole thing is if she moved there, she's going to get less of a, lesser of a house because we stay outside the city because you get more for less. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she stays way up there because you get more for less. If you're moving back into the city, the house ain't going to be the same standard as the one you got there because it's going to cost more. Even though Buckhead is the hood and people be breaking in, the people still charge more up there. They do. What you talking about? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Thank you for doing these chats heavily in color. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we love you so much. We've been on over an hour. Your African ain't looking for you because usually right at an hour, you got to go. Let's get these last super chats so we can go on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 
Unsweet T, this man gave me all his money. I love Rashawn. Rashawn, my new boyfriend. Look, Unsweet T looks 20 years older than you. He's about to heavenly folk. You heard to be calling you grandma. See, my whole thing with this is, and I'm going to leave it all alone, is if you 30 and you're talking to somebody 60, and I know y'all don't agree with me, that's just like talking to your grandmammy. My whole thing is, Jackie, don't come off like, bitch, fuck you, this, that, and the other. I do. So if you said that to me, that's fine, right? But Jackie... To me, you read the girl the way she reads you. My whole thing is you could have said so much. Jackie is readable. I'm a friend, so I don't do it. But Jackie's readable. You could have said Jackie's that. readable. Oh, you, oh yeah. <laughs> but my, you, all the shit you could have said, all you said is fuck you, bitch. To me, that was juvenile, <laughs> if you lack of a better word. No, anyway, no, pause, no, pause, pause, pause. You said Dr. Jackie is readable. <laughs> That there's other things she could have said, but she would In a better way. Like, bitch, that's a, I could give you the read, but I'm not going to What would you have said? I'm not going to do that because that's my friend and I love her so well, much. Well, you said once before that her hair is so thin you could read her mind. That was before we were really good friends. That was probably episode two, season two. I didn't like Jackie initially. Everybody know that. I thought she was snooty. But once you get to know most people, this is true for most people, even Toya. Like once you get to know them, you find out that everybody has their insecurities. You know what I'm saying? Jackie's wrapped around her doctorship. That's that's who she is. That's what she stands on. That's her her brand. Everything means everything to her. You know what I'm saying? That's who she is. I don't know if it's good, better, and different, but that's who she is. Once you get to know people, most people are okay. Most people. Don't you think most people are good? I want to see most. some housewives. Mm -hmm. Most, yes. Yeah, most. That's what I saw with. Yeah. I want to see some housewives or real housewives of Atlanta. I want to see some people that are married to medicine on marriage. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie say she wants y'all to stay to the name of the show because neither one of y'all doing that. Now y'all trying to muck up married to medicine. The people ain't married and they damn sure ain't married to medicine. Or and the housewife ain't none of these bitches housewives. <laughs> who, who a housewife on the king ain't got no man. Portia, is a, real, no Portia man. is a real housewife. But she just coming back now. You know, we'll see how they go. But, okay, Candy got a man, but she ain't no housewife. She actually, you got to help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, you know the title has definitely taken. Who's the housewife on their show? Um, well, depending on who they cast, because I have heard that allegedly half the cast is being let go. Okay, but I'm saying previous, like ones that we know. The only real housewife on the show. No housewife. No, the only true real housewife that was on the show at one point in time was Deshaun Snow. <laughs> like that. I don't even know who that is. So that's season one. And and Nene, Nene, to her credit, was a real housewife at one point. Yeah, yeah. I loved her husband. Now that's one thing. I met oh, yeah. that man. He is exactly how he was, exactly how. He portrayed to be. To me, I would compare him to Dr. Damon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. No. He is a stand-up guy, like, for real. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't want to be sad. But um, she just want people to be what they supposed to be. Carrie Jones say that. That's what she wants. No, but after, let me tell you something. After watching um this recent episode, I really want to see more of Dr. Alicia. I was, I was pleasantly surprised by her. And there's there's more to her that I am curious to see. And I I love what they're bringing. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, Alicia had the most compelling storyline of all of us. I wish they would have played it. I don't know why they make the decisions they make. And I'm sure they got their reasons. But as a producer that I am, I would have definitely figured out a way to tell the story. But I do know that footage is evergreen they can use that shit and bring it back right yeah uh, yeah yeah and they can even backtrack to it when they talking about stuff you know how they go back and show dr g be an ass to quad the whole time they got the footage she had a very i'm gonna tell you she had the best storyline of all of us and i don't know why i got cut out i must just say that i don't know why they do the things they do exactly just like phaedra phaedra gave more like she went on a date she was supposed to bring the guy they could have made that a story and then they could have got her this and that dude at the but i don't know what they got so my whole thing is me being a producer is different. You know what I'm saying? I would have showed my children more, at least Alora graduating and my son graduating from college. I think that that was something to show. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have on yeah. earth. So it's a lot of stuff. But anyway, that was super sassy of Eugene to ask Sweet Tea about Jackie. First, first of all, you didn't have to word to you, sassy. No, first of all, Heavenly, 
Pamela, you didn't have to say it and read it that way. That was super sassy. That's you, what the lady said. No, you read it. You read Come it very on. sassy. You've been reading these super chats all night. And the moment you saw sassy, you got all activated. That's the word that stood out to me. No, oh, you said you read it, then fuck it, you read it. I don't, I ain't doing it right. Go on to read it. What you no, saying? No, go ahead and read it. I, no, I, I, got, I, I saw sassy was the word. That's go ahead what, and read, read, read it. Made it all bold in, in parentheses. Read the super chat, baby. Go ahead, child. That was super <laughs> sassy of Eugene <laughs> to talk to Sweet Tea about Jackie calling her baby girl. I think honestly that Eugene is sassy. However, <laughs> he does keep uh, Toya on the map. Like I think that the sassiness is needed for the show. I'm just glad my man ain't the sassy one. I think that it's needed. I think that that's what it. it, it... Carlos, you left me, baby. Don't leave me. I'm just saying. Like, come on back, Carlos. Oh, I like them shoes you got back there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Can I see that watch again? But yeah, it was sassy. I didn't say it. Jasmine said it. Jasmine, thank you for the super chat. Your hair is beautiful. <laughs> Do you want to read the next one? Because I don't read them before they come up. I don't. They can ask me anything. I don't read them before they come up. Why do you think, why do you think <laughs> Eugene is sassy? What you want to know is why does Jasmine think that you No, boo-boo. You said, I have to leave. You said, I agree. I think Eugene is sassy. Why do you think Eugene is sassy? I'm going I'm to let you go look up the definition of the word and then come back to me and talk about it. Carlos, from behind the scenes in season nine. Uh-oh. Real Housewives Landy, they can't even maliciously bring a Carlos new wife to OLG. You said that before, though. No, she did not. No. Okay. Always wanted to know. She seems to, but you did say Apollo came and his wife came to an event. But yeah, yeah, but but there. Candy, but Candy, but Candy had nothing to do with that. Oh, okay, okay. She had she had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with that. Okay. okay. So the definition of sassy. You ready? <laughs> You're a messy bitch. Okay, I was leaving it alone. I'm about to uh, give you the definition of sassy. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, and this is from Webster's Dictionary. Okay, mm -hmm. <clears throat> sassy. I know the meaning. No, you don't. Sassy mm -hmm. is vigorous, lively, distinctively smart, and stylish. There you have it. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> sassy. He's been a little sassy. He's smart. He disrespectful or impudent. He ain't disrespectful. He. Anyway, <laughs> he was very sassy by the definition that I know in the communities that I know. He was very sassy. Is Eugene and Toya in an open relationship? Carlos, you got silent on me, baby. Oh, that, that's not for me. Uh, I don't think Eugene and Toya are in an open relationship. I think Eugene is in love with Toya. I don't see him stepping out on Toya ever. And I don't see Toya stepping out on him unless Eugene gives her the okay to. And that's just me being honest. But being the nice guy that Eugene is, and as much as he loves Toya, don't you think that if she said, you know what, you're not satisfying me, just like the girl Mia and her husband, right? Yes. I'm just oh, saying oh, that's oh. what I saw. And allegedly, that's what I saw. Don't you think Toy Eugene, based on all the shit he's taken, would say, you know what, if I, I love you enough, that if I'm not satisfying you, if my stuff ain't what you want, I want you to have, in fact, I pay for it. You lost me, I pay for it, but go ahead. Oh, but you ain't got to pay for it with Toya. They'll give it to her. That's free, okay? Because Toya's sexy. We already put that out there. So I think that you need to go get what you need. I love you enough that this is just something physical, but I love you in spirit. I think he would do it. I really do. I think he loves his wife enough to do that. I think Eugene loves his wife enough to do whatever it takes to make her happy. There you have it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Can we talk about the upcoming finale and how Quad and <laughs> walked in and Dr. G sweating and he looks so uncomfortable? So y'all did see that? They played that? Because I didn't want to talk about it until it happened. They played, they must have shown. Yes, they, <laughs> yes, and they, they, they showed, I forgot who, who it was, but they showed someone making a comment saying, oh my gosh, Dr. G is sweating, looking at Quad or whatever. 
Um, and then what they did ended- I tell you about the reunion? What did I been telling you? What? Oh, yes. You've always said that when Quad walks into the room, Dr. G gets sweaty and nervous. I say his soul shakes. But my whole thing is this. <sighs> I think that he... He's got PTSD too, like for about her. And he didn't know what was about to happen. You see what I'm saying? I think that he wants to keep his wife and quiet separately because she he don't want them talking. But quiet lay it all at the reunion. Y'all gotta watch it at the reunion. Not so much at the re- at the finale, but the reunion. Y'all gotta watch that. That's what I'm going to say. And she's going to say everything she thought to say and why she did what she did and her thought process. And that quite really did what she needed to do at this reunion. Now, I don't know if you coached her. I coached Quad. <laughs> what they call the Espo? The Espo. I don't know what they call the Espo. Not the Expo, but the Expo. You got me on the Expo. And then you caught, you taught Quad what to do at the reunion because she did her job. She did I her didn't- job. <laughs> And you got me on the expo. It ain't had shit to do with Amazon. Okay, on that note, I have to go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was uncomfortable. One more, Carlos. One more. One more. Can cast member quit mid-season without being sued? We have a big... You can answer that. Um. Listen, there's always an exception to the rule. The short answer is you won't more than likely you're not getting sued, but you won't be able to be on another reality show for a year or two. But the contract says a, do- a monetary amount if you leave early. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There, there's there, there's penalties. I'll say that. Okay. There's penalties if a cast member leaves a show mid-season, and the penalties are based on what your contract states. And there's a way to work around that. Okay. Stop. Uh, where did she go? <laughs> All right. Well, she left again. Just, I'm sorry, I did it again. Okay, that's it. Watch the show, and then it's the last one here. It go says, ahead. "Um, shit, I just lost it. Shit, don't let me move my thing. Wait a minute, I ain't trying to turn the thing off." Carlos, it's Carlos to you. Can you read it? It's your name. Can we get a show with plastic surgeons and their wives or girlfriends and the elites? Marriage medicine needs care as shakeup. Do they teeth too? That's a part of it. Make sure <laughs> we get in it and let me do the teeth, okay? We're going to make them some beautiful, beautiful teeth. It's a veneers, okay? Well, Mariah says she wants to do a show called Love and Medicine. Would you watch that, Dr. Heavenly? I surely would. You know why? Because I support my Black people, and that's why I'm doing the Expo. <laughs> the Black Expo. I'm sorry, by Amazon. I'm doing it, and I'm doing the Fem Fest. And we're about financial literacy and uplifting black people. So honestly, I go over and beyond because you supported me. I wanted to make sure, and I know it wasn't a big deal, but I wanted to come support you on your new show, Bold and Bougie. Thank you for coming. I you love you. I love Goshe. Goshe has been my girl since way back. Me yes. and I have the same PR. We got such a long story history, but I love Goshe. So I'm always trying to support the girls. I don't be wanting to come to nothing, but I love coming to support my people. So yes. if Mariah is doing something, yes, I would support her. As a sister, yes, thank I you. would. Thank mm-hmm. you. And thank I you would. for coming to support me. I love you. And yes, so we got Bold and Bougie every Thursday, 9 o'clock on WeTV, and then Love and Marriage DC every Saturday at 8 o'clock on OWN. How did you go bad with quad? I don't know, baby. We we up and down. We good. My favorite, Carlos and Heavenly. You both are hilarious. Thank you. I got to get all the super chat. Wait a minute, Carlos. We ain't got but two oh, more. No, I, gotta, I, I, I gave you 20 extra minutes. Hey, every time I do one, three more pop up. Yes, no, I got to go. I okay, love baby, you guys. guys. Y'all have a great day. I think I got to all of them, y'all. I love you guys. Bye. Bye, Carlos. Thank you. Bye, bro. I love you. Bye. <laughs>